Okay, what I'm doing today is making a modification to a Spyland Comp 3 speed loader. It's a modification that a, a shooting friend asked me to do for him. It's a modification that uh, I do not do myself. Uh, I don't understand the benefit of the modification, but I'm in no position to debate it because the gentleman shoots at a higher level uh, than I do. So if it works for him, that's great, and I'm willing to help him. I'm still using the Comp 3 in, in the factory configuration, so I'm not suggesting this modification to anybody. Basically, the purpose of this video is I'm just showing how I cut a piece of plastic with the tools I have available to me. Um, these tools, I have a, a tabletop drill press and an air-powered die grinder or not. Probably not common household tools. Um, I'm not a machinist by any stretch of the imagination, uh, but I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express a few times. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay, what I have here is an original Comp 3 speed loader. And this one here belongs to a friend that he tried to cut. You can see it's a little rough there. That was done by hand. Um, what I'm going to do is try to get a result. Not try. This is the result I got uh, using the drill press. It's a little cleaner finish and uh, flat all the way around. Now uh, if I take the original here you can see the difference uh, again, the uh, the benefit of that, I really don't know, but that's not what I'm trying to uh, illustrate in this, this video. The benefit or not of the modification and maybe any potential risks or, or whatever involved with the modification. Again, that's not the purpose. I'm just showing how I'm cutting a piece of plastic in my drill press. That's the intent, just to... Uh, show you how I'm cutting a piece of plastic no matter what it is whether it's a speed loader or anything else that you're trying to work on so what I'm going to do with this next speed loader I use this 5 16 bolt which happens to fit perfectly in here to hold the thing on the nut down I'll snug it up with this wrench and that'll give me something to grip in my drill press so I can turn this. So I'll do that and I'll get it in the drill press and we'll make the cut. Okay what I got here is a hair powered die grinder <coughs> in uh, my vise with some soft jaws here. This is a carbide uh, rasp here and of course my drill press and I got this set up so the drill press will stop once I have the part in there at my desired cut. This is set up from from the previous cut. I've already got the tool squared with the part so I'll get a straight cut or as might be said in more modern terms I'll be laying the cut straight. So let's snug this up and make the cut. Okay, I'll just clean it up now. All I'm going to do now is just break the edges here. Clean that uh, little burrs off. And I'll put it back together. And of course to take this, this particular 
part apart. Uh, I also illustrated that in, in a previous video. So I'm just going to clean it up and put it back together and we'll be done.